Aisha. I thank you. So uh, uh, late yesterday, Carrier, Carrier announced a deal with uh, President-elect uh, Donald Trump to keep uh, close to a thousand jobs at an air conditioner plant in Indianapolis. Um, I guess all the all of the details of the deal haven't been announced, but I was wondering, uh, does uh, the White House have any thoughts on um, kind of? Uh, the, the, the strategy that has been employed to maybe lean on a private company to get them to keep jobs in the U.S. Is that a strategy um, that the White House approves of, that thinks it's, it's a good thing to do? Um, I guess I just wanted thoughts on that. Well, you know, obviously we haven't seen the, the, the details of the announcement uh, from the company, but, you know, well, obviously the early indications are that this is good news, and uh, obviously we'd welcome that good news. Uh, I know that the president-elect has uh, uh, indicated that uh, he deserves credit for uh, for that announcement, and uh, I guess what I would uh, observe is that if he is uh, successful in doing that um, 804 more times, then he will meet the record of manufacturing jobs that were created in the United States while President Obama was in office. There were 805,000 manufacturing jobs that weren't just protected or saved, but actually created while President Obama was in office. So. President Obama has set a high standard, and um, President-elect Trump can meet that standard if uh, this uh, carrier deal uh, is completed in the way that he expects that it will be. Uh, and if he does that 804 more times, then uh, he will have matched the standard established by President Obama, at least when it comes to manufacturing jobs. The one difference would be that um, the President-elect is talking about um, uh, protecting jobs, and the metric I'm using is actually creating jobs. Uh, if we go to protecting jobs, there are uh, more than a million jobs uh, in the industrial Midwest that were saved uh, when uh, President Obama made the decision to rescue the American auto industry. And uh, the long-term benefits of that fateful decision that was not initially popular uh, has um, yielded a substantial benefit uh, for the entire country, uh, but certainly for the industrial Midwest.